Hi, Fab here from Six Gun Productions. Today I want to give you a quick overview of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, um, which I got today, arrived this afternoon. And um, I want to give you a quick overview of the phone, um, the major features, and just kind of a quick look. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is uh, the, the unpacking. Here we have a headset um, with normal microphone there was no uh there came no pouch with the phone um this headset was there just in ear headphones pretty much like the nexus one i had before and then a usb charging cable usb normal usb to micro usb and the uh charge adapter that came with the phone is a british one um, I got another one, you know, a German replacement with it. As you can see, the the to put the battery in the back is kind of weird. It's like it's really hard to take off. It's kind of thin. It's very different with any other phone I've uh, had so far. Um, as, as you can see, the uh, Galaxy Nexus is quite a bit thinner than the Nexus one. Here I'm taking the SIM card with the Nexus one. This is pretty straightforward, putting it into the new phone. And then you, you just put the battery in and have to reassemble the cover, which is kind of fiddly. It's kind of hard to do, as you can see here. That's it. Pretty nice thin phone. Will never be this clean again, I think. I'm turning it on. This is uh, the first boot. You have to push the button down quite a bit. As with most of these. It's new, it just says Google. There's uh, no mention of Android at all. Then you get the fancy colorful boot up. In, in the video, the color actually doesn't come through as, as nice as the display actually is. The display is like, I don't know, super AMOLED. Very nice. It always says this. I don't know why it says it's upgrading. And you have the usual Android wizard where you just, you know, Sign in with your Google account. Oh, putting in the uh, email address. I use Google Apps actually for this, my main account. And as you can see, it's it, it's actually not hard to type. It's just the way I'm holding this phone for the camera. So. A little cut so <laughs> you don't get my password. And then it just basically syncs it. It tells you that you can, you know, back up and restore all your contacts into your account, which is pretty handy. Which I'm, of course, um, doing. And then it actually uh, restores the contacts from my other phone, my Nexus One. Um, and it asks you if you want to use location, which I'm doing because uh, I'm not a privacy nut. I don't care if people know where I am. And that's about it. The interesting thing is, um, I didn't know this. This is uh, this is not new, but uh, apparently it's been in Android quite a while. It actually syncs your Wi-Fi keys, so it, it just synced them over from the other phone. So as soon as I turn on Wi-Fi on this, it just you know has my Wi-Fi keys, which is awesome. Getting a little bit confused with the menu. It scrolls to the side now instead of up and down, which is kind of like Honeycomb, actually. You know, switch that around. And as you can see, the phone doesn't have any buttons. Um, well, it has the volume button and the on and off button, but uh, no hardware buttons at all um, below on the screen. The new unlock screen. And the buttons down there, you know, the, the menu, back, and, and home buttons, they're fully software buttons, like on my uh, Zoom tablet, actually. Actually, like this new drop down, you see how it's kind of like translucent a little bit, really nice. It's the 
home screen. And you can actually now, um, you know, the, the notifications are kind of the same as they always were. This is the new mail application. Which has a little bit of a different look to it now, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. Um, they have got rid of all the, the menu buttons. So you always have these three dots like this. There are no upside down ellipses. Uh, that's a new new keyboard here, and I can't really type, but that's mostly because uh, I'm watching through the camera. Actually, the the keyboard's actually nice. Um, it's very much like the honeycomb keyboard, which I like really very much. Um, with the um, you know, the improvements and it actually corrects your typing, which is really nice. Um, you can see it, it works pretty well sideways as well. Well, then they changed mostly um, the buttons. Actually, what I um, what irritated me, but you have to tilt your phone quite a bit so it actually uh, auto rotates, which I guess is, makes sense. Um, yeah, I think they they changed this because on, on my other phones I'm on the Nexus one, it was always rotating when I didn't want it to. So I guess um, this is really nice once you get used to that. It's pretty cool. Have uh, the widgets here. It's very honeycomb. Um, direct link to the market there. This is the new market, which um, should have on all the new Android phones now. They actually updated that separately. Um, just fits fits a lot better. You can see where the design comes from here. It's very nice animation. I mean, it's, it's all very smooth, especially all the graphics stuff. It's um, it's really fast. I I already installed a few apps on here. to um to show so um looking at the settings um this phone actually came with um android 4.0.1 and i then updated it it updated it's kind of the same version it just updated to a new build which is um itl 41f which i guess is a fix for that volume button um, error that has been quite widely reported with the European handsets because of um, some kind of um, bandwidth problem and RF interference, which I can't detect at all. It's pretty much fixed. As you can see here, it actually already uh, synced my Wi-Fi. I'm already on the Wi-Fi. As soon as I turned it on, it just connected, which is really cool. I mean, sync your Wi-Fi. I have like this really long Wi-Fi key, so that works. This is the new, um, you know, you can set warnings and, and data limits. Uh, which is really cool if you if you have uh, data caps. Probably also comes in very handy if you're roaming. And very nice graph and very intuitive. As you can hear, it shows you what kind of apps use the most data, which I'm actually really interested to look into once I've been using this phone for a while. It's pretty cool. Good stuff. That's pretty much all the same. I mean, the the you know the battery usage. Just I was running Cyan Cyanogen Mod Seven on the Nexus One, and you know that was that was kind of all in there. I think they just reorganized the menus a bit, and now a little bit more intuitive, which is really cool. I say overall, I really like Ice Cream Sandwich. It's really well done. Lots of develop develop options on this phone, which you um you know you'd guess with this being a Nexus phone. Which is why, you know, I buy these. I really like the Nexus phones. Especially for that, you know, the, the, the unlockable bootloader and all that kind of stuff. So, um, one of the things they basically, you know, copied from iOS is this kind of folder stuff. Just so you can just drag apps into each other and make a folder. Um, and then you can just, you know, they, they have one on there for Google already. I just went on for games, which kind of makes sense. It's, you know, it's very easy to use. Pretty intuitive. Um, all the reorganization stuff. If you use Cyanogen mod, you, you used all of that. This is new. This is kind of honeycomb-y, the uh, apps changer with the, um, with the screenshots. And if you want to remove stuff, it's pretty much like the notifications. You can just swipe them off. 
which I really like. That's that's pretty cool. It's really well. It's really fast. The new market was very slow on my Nexus one. That's actually really usable on this, which is cool. And then we have uh, Google Music, which I've been using for a while. Um, I got actually in the beta before they locked it down here. Here, I'm trying to do it sideways and it just didn't work. Um, yeah, I actually got into the beta while it still wasn't um, restricted for countries. So now I'm in. I hope they don't pull it from under my ass because um, I've been really liking Google Music. So testing some music play here <laughs> with obviously my favorite artist. That's, that seems to work. Be nice. The speakers on this are actually uh, decent. Um, about comparable with the Nexus one, the actual sound is is, is better, I think. Um, on the headphones, it's it's very nice sound. Here, I just um, skip them a bit, so you know, I have to enter my credentials there. So obviously, a new Android app or just a uh, new Kindle app on Android. It just it looks a bit different. Um, you know, either I'm reading a lot of women's books and this is all girlfriends <laughs> uh, books I leave you to decide this is one I've actually read so, downloading really fast as you would expect from a book I say this is a really nice screen I mean the phone is pretty big um, but I have really small hands for, for a guy actually um and even I can hold it very comfortably. I think it's just a matter of taste. But um, as you can see here, it's, it's really a lot of text that fits on there. And I'm trying to it sideways again, doesn't work. Um, and it's really, like, really clear. Very comparable to the iPhone, actually. From what I've seen. It's just amazing. Amazing clarity. Nice screen. Testing our own app, Pony Express. Seems to work well. It's a nice podcast. You should check that out. I'm speeding this up a bit because, uh, you know, it takes a while to download. The position I assure you is quite clear from where Lord Raglan stands. Is it? Is it? to work really well for some reason like this phone um i mean i mean for some reason it actually has the speaker at the front and access one actually has it on the back mostly um you know f for this kind of stuff um so i have to uh, you know to change you have to hold it differently here's you know if you compare the two screens you, you can see the difference like the real estate makes and just the sharpness of the display it's it's really amazing it's like it's basically night and day difference i mean just the stuff that fits on there it's just so much nicer to use and I, you can't really see this because of the video but the colors are just i mean the, i always like the nexus one display it was shit in sunlight but the colors are amazing and um this is even better display i think it's really cool So since this is really fast, uh, I thought, you know, let's, let's, I mean, we, we tried audio playback. Let's check some video stuff. Um, some more pimping of my own stuff here, obviously. <laughs> oh, well, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> check this out. You 
you know, I've, I've I've never watched that much YouTube on the on the next one. I watch it mostly on the Zoom. But with that screen size, you know, um, in like landscape mode, I could actually see myself uh, watching a lot of U YouTube on this. Um, it's yeah, the screen is just sharp and nice and crisp. It, I could actually, you know, I could see myself watch a lot of video on this. Test the gaming performance. Favorite game of all. Um, obviously I didn't I haven't ported anything over to this phone yet manually. Uh, one thing this phone doesn't have USB mass storage, it just has this other thing, this MDB, I don't know, M MTBA or whatever it's called. It's a bit of a hassle on Linux, but you can get it going. It's the same Zoom has that as well. All the new Android devices apparently have to have this because they changed something with the storage. Um, if you look at this, I mean, it, as you can see from my um, Pocket Edition review, it, um, Minecraft already ran really nice on the Nexus One, but this is now, this is like I had in that review on, on the Zoom, this is like full video um, settings. Um, this is like all totally cranked up to max and it's just, it's just smooth as butter. It's really in great phone, I mean. Graphics performance is amazing. <laughs> Renders better than on my computer, actually. It's really cool. And you can just like seamlessly switch apps, go back. You know, it doesn't stutter at all. You know, when 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 all these um iOS fanboys were saying, yeah, well, uh, on my iPhone it's all like, you know, it's not so much better and Android, it's just like stuttery and stuff. That's just not true. I mean, by now it's just amazing how fluid this is. Smooth as butter. So this, um, I just recently bought this. World of Goo. I uh, love this game on the desktop. Actually, wouldn't install on the Nexus one. I've, I've played it on the Zoom a bit. And on here, it's just like, you know, this is even running smoother than on the Zoom. Um, I think this actually has more processing power. This game is awesome. You have to buy this. You know, it's just made for touch. I mean, it was great fun on the desktop. It's been a while since I played it, so um, with my brain, uh, my memory, all the ne levels are kind of new to me. And it's just amazing how it works. It's just awesome for touch stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, it didn't, just, didn't do so well on the level. It would have been better. Uh, you can actually it's just like seamlessly switch over here. You know, go from there. And this is, of course, how you kill stuff again. You know, just like with the notifications. But you can just go switch over. Blam, Minecraft. Just works. And then, just this amazing how fluid this is like blam back. Just like this. It's good stuff. Great device. Um, can't wait to you know use this all day when I'm when I'm you know stuck somewhere. Little games. Okay, I've I don't use this much even the Nexus One, but um, let's test this for posterity's sake. Find the nearest games workshop. It actually does it. It's pretty well. I, I don't, you know, I haven't used this. I mean, Android had this way before Siri came along, and it's just, I just find it funny to just talk to your phone. It's a bit weird, but if you want to do it, it kind of works. It doesn't talk back to you, but, you know. <laughs> Some people would say that's uh, that's a plus. Phone's not talking back to you. If you watch Star Trek, you always get this kind of unable to comply, reject warp core, unable to comply, and this just does it. Well, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, you know, dictating stuff. I know it's probably my accent, my weird. As people on Linux are lost, say weird Indian accent. It sometimes doesn't understand me, but um, this seemed to work really well. Google Maps, it's 
as you can see very fluid very nice everything's fluid on this phone it's amazing I, I i really like these soft buttons i thought i wouldn't get used to them but at like one one minute and of using them and they're you know second nature and there seem to be some kind of different screen because um it's some kind of blacker they, they just look like buttons they look almost like e-ink like the reverse of e-ink and here Google Plus, my new favorite app, spamming everybody, telling them what we're doing. Yeah, and so these buttons, they're really nice. Um, I don't know, if you look at the phone, like from the side, you can see that it's kind of blacker. Where those buttons are. Just in this keyboard, I really like this keyboard. Lots of people say they don't like the Android keyboard, but uh, it's kind of perfect for me. I don't know, maybe because I have small hands. I have like tiny hands, tiny man hands. That works well for me. This phone is, you know, actually in 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 landscape mode, it it's it's really nice that it's so big. I actually like that it's so big. It's just the screen is awesome, and you get used to it holding it like this. It's actually yeah, I think it's actually lighter than the Nexus one. It's it's just a pretty nice feel. Um, the back isn't as slippery. It's got like this grip feel. Testing the camera here. This this will look shit, but um, what I'm basically want to show you is like the no lag shutter that they advertise. So, which works pretty well. Um, it takes about I don't know. It's, I don't think it's even a second. Um, this is all the new. They really improved the uh, camera app in Ice Cream Sandwich, which is really nice. Have all these effects you can do. Different scene settings. Um, you can adjust. Well, we had that before. No exposure and all that kind of stuff. They now have actually, which I'm not showing here, which I forgot. They have click to focus. Um, this is you know touch to focus. You actually touch somewhere to focus, which is really nice. Um, the Cyanogen Mod camera app had that for a while, but the stock one, Android one, didn't. Um, I really like that and. Now, if you take photos, as you can see, it's like it just goes blam, blam. Doesn't even have a shutter effect anymore. It just stores them, and it has now just taken five or six pictures. The uh, new gallery app, which they improved, which is nice. The one was the, the, you know, when they bought that, cool iris or whatever it was, it was really integrated. It's much better now. As you can see, it took like a ton of photos, just like this. Very nice. Um, you can share stuff. Directly to do all the time. It now actually will um remember um you know it will put a little share where the share button is at the top. It will just remember like Google Plus because that's what you use all the time. Um, sharing favorites, which is which is nice. That's a crap photo. It's really blurry because I forgot to focus, but it's better than nothing. So yeah. Um, yeah, screenshots now built in. If you press the power button and volume down, um, it takes a screenshot, which is awesome. I mean, it's something the engine mod had as well, but it's now built into Ice Cream Sandwich. Really nice. Power button there. You can also shut down the phone just to show the, um, well, you know, it's not that fast, but it's okay. And it's shut down. Yeah, so comparing the size to the Nexus one, you can you know you can see the differences there. Screen size is quite amazing. Also the blackness of the screen. That um it's quite it's really thin. It's it's got well, it's not at the lower end it isn't, but got that tapering. It's actually not as round as they made it look. I really like the back, that grip, you know, gripping texture is really nice. You can see it's no, it's nearly not rounded at all. It's when you hold it, you don't notice it. Um, up to your ear. Um, I don't even know if it's so much more comfortable. It's just cool. I like it that it's round. It's just something different. Um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of Star Trekky. Um, you know. I don't know. Kind of. As opposed to that rectangular thing being like next generation. This is kind of Voyagery. 
technology where it's all a bit more rounded. That's the micro SD thing. The phone jacket is at the bottom, which kind of makes sense if you look at the phone from the side, you know. The thick end is here. I've, I've started up already. Didn't want to show you the boot again. On the unlock screen, they now have a directly, um, you know, got this from the iPhone as well. You can go directly to the camera, which is something that's really nice, really needed. Um, of course, you couldn't, ha you could have that before with apps. Cool. Comparing the screens again, I mean, just look at the difference. Just look at how clear it is. Um, it's not an, I don't know, iris or whatever they call that retina display, but. It's just an amazing display. It's a really nice phone. I love that translucent effect on the notifications. Really nice. So yeah, um, amazing phone. Really nice. So far, I gotta say, I love it. So that was a quick first look at the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, I will make another video um, in about a week or two when I've, you know, had some time to evaluate this phone in daily use and I will then tell you some more about it. Um, in the meantime, stay tuned to the channel, you know, subscribe. You can always go to Six Gun TV to get more of our stuff and uh, I hope this helped you uh, make a decision maybe buying this phone, you know, if you're looking at your next Android phone. I think it's a great device, but uh, if you're still on the fence, stay tuned for the second video, um, which will be coming soon. Thank you, goodbye.